Police Commissioner Leroy Brummel was the first person to be summoned before the Linden Commission of Inquiry, which is looking into the events of July 18, that left three persons dead and two dozen others injured during a protest in the Bauxite Tang. The police commissioner was questioned about the police force's handling of the protest and the shooting of the protesters. During questioning by one of the inquiry commissioners, Justice Katie Knight of Jamaica, Brummel revealed that two units were deployed to deal with the Linden protests. There was a tactical service unit and a Linden anti-crime unit. All members of the unit, he said, were armed, but with various weapons. However, he said the ballistics results carried out and the weapons the policemen carried were not yet available. He said he told the commander underground and the officer overlooking the protest that they should engage the protesters by speaking to them and their leaders. He said he never told them anything about shooting. The order to shoot, the commissioner said, came from Assistant Superintendent Todd, who was in charge of the TSU ranks. The person that I'm told that gave the order to discharge some wrongs on the bridge or in the vicinity of the bridge was Assistant Superintendent Todd. And from your briefing at that time, persons, a crowd, would have been on the bridge, is that so? Yes, sir. After the shooting incident, the police commissioner said he was first informed of it by members of the press who were contacting him. He said it was only then that he contacted the commander at Linden and received confirmation, although the commander could not say whether persons were injured. And I was aware to the press, the press called me and told me that if I heard any shooting, I said, no, I'm not aware of any shooting. So I tried getting the commander at did, the time. Did you succeed? Yes, sir, I got him. And did you get any information which confirmed what the press said? Well, he was saying that he got no information that anybody was uh, injured. No, that the question was whether shots were fired first. Yes, he got information, told me that shot was fired. Asked about the role of the Minister of Home Affairs, Brummel told the commission that he met with Minister Rohi on the day before the protest to inform him of the plan the force had in place to deal with the protest. He said Rohi never gave him any instructions then, but after the shooting incident, the minister instructed him to remove the commander from the area, and he explained why he did just that. Was it an instruction that you agreed with? I agreed, sir. What was the basis for your agreement? Um, I think at the time, I think I needed to control the officer. I needed to get him off the ground because he was kind of, he's a short fellow, so like his temper very hot, short like me, but his temper like he was getting real hot. So I thought it was best in the interest of the force to move him out from Linden and send in a big person, sober headed person. The top cop also told the commission that from reports he got, missiles, including bottles and bricks, were thrown at policemen by the protesters. When asked if that evidence was collected, Brummel seemed stumped. Having regard to the fact that missiles were being thrown, do you know if the police at the scene collected any of these missiles at all? Or, um, I don't, I, Maybe you don't know. I don't think they pick up bricks or bottles. I don't think they pick, they pick up. They didn't pick up any of them. Later, the police commissioner admitted that undercover policemen from the special branch unit were also underground at the Linden protest. He said they were armed also, but their weapons were not taken for ballistics tests. The commission members asked that that be done. The police commissioner also said that the reason he dispatched a tactical services unit was because he had gotten information that a protest would have created some problems. He refused to give the source for that intelligence, but said that the information came in after permission was already granted. He told the commission that there were several previous protest marches in Linden before July 18, and those marches were all peaceful.
The police commissioner committed to provide the commission with several statements and documents from the police force about its operations and how it handled the events at Linden on the 18th of July. Attorneys representing the APNU and relatives of the victims began their grilling of the police commissioner just after the commissioners had all asked questions. Meanwhile, before the commission began to take evidence today from the police commissioner, it dealt with two other issues raised by APNU attorneys. The commission said it will continue with the two attorneys it has in its employ, since they are not responsible for any decision-making and could be dealt with if they were found to be doing anything that could impact the proceedings. And the commission also denied a request by attorney Basil Williams to put the proceedings on hold until the president considered adding two additional days to the terms of reference for the commission. The head of the commission said justice delayed is justice denied and they were not going to delay justice. If there is a change in the terms of reference while the commission is sitting, that could easily be accommodated.